first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel and today in this lesson number six on the topic syllogism we are going to see complement repair concept so friends usually in the topic syllogism there are two major complement repair one is some a or b and no a is b it is complement repair number one and the second complement repair is some a or b and some a or not b so totally there are two complement repair in a syllogism friends and then lesson number six let me target the first complement repair that is some a or b and no a is b and lesson number seven let me target the second complement repair that is some a or b and some a or not b so friends usually in 2014 in 2015 what we used to do is if we find a complementary pair in the conclusion we directly go for the option either or but nowadays if you find a complementary pair you need to check whether it satisfies the rule or not if it does not satisfy even though it is a complementary pair you should not go for the option either or only if it satisfies the rule you should go with an option either one or two follows if not kindly don't go for the option either or so friends uh, for checking whether it is a complementary pair or not we have a certain rules right if we are studying in any other institution right each and every faculty will use to solve this complementary pair in a different logic so assume that i am giving a time and over question to my friends right my friends used to solve it in a shortcut but i used to always proceed in a normal conventional method and other student will use a allegation mixture in time and work topic but all the three result and answer will be same similarly if each and every faculty will use a different logic for finding this complementary pair but the final answer should be same for all right so if you want to understand this complementary pair clearly if you follow this rule then getting a complementary pair will be so so simple so friends now let me move on to the first complementary pair that is some a or b and no a is b friends listen here if we find a complementary pair in a conclusion i always target the second conclusion that is no i won't bother about some a or b right my only target is no a is b conclusion i used to see in lesson number two we have already learned about a no conclusion right so friends if no conclusion in the basic diagram it is true and possible diagram it is true so it does not satisfy the complementary pair even though it's a complementary pair if the no conclusion follow this rule then we should not say the answer is either or friends don't forget to watch my lesson number two right so lesson number two where the conclusion that is based on no so only if you watch lesson number two you can able to understand this concept and the lesson here friends the second rule is if no conclusion in a basic diagram it is false and also in a possible diagram it is false then you should not say it is a complementary pair you should not go with an option either or then you should go for the option either or if the no conclusion appear like this it follows this rule in a basic diagram it should be true and and a possible diagram it should be false only if a basic diagram true possible diagram false if it's no conclusion satisfies rule number three then you should say the answer is either or so here in this two conclusion you should not say the answer is either or so friends listen here now we are going to solve five different question based on this complementary pair out of this five question first three question the answer is either or i am going to explain why we are going for an option either or for the first three question and the last two question even though it is a complementary pair but we are not using an option either or so watch all the five different question learn the concept clearly be 100 percentage strong on the concept right because syllogism is one of the most important topic for upcoming pybbs py exams and also clerk exam so understand the logic of either or concept so let me move on to all the five different question on this pattern let me move on to question number one so friends they have given a statement right so some tree or paper then some papers are scale all scale are rubber then all rubbers are car some cars are glider and no car is pen so finally we have drawn the venn diagram for the given statement right so friends let me move on to this conclusion number one and the conclusion number one is some pen are tree and the conclusion number two is no pen is tree so friends the conclusion looks like a complementary pair number one right so complementary pair number one is some a or b no a is b so both the conclusion looks like a complementary pair so friends if it is a complementary pair don't directly go for the option either or first of all you need to check whether it satisfies the complementary pair or not so friends always if i see a complementary pair i won't bother about the first conclusion that is some I won't consider the some conclusion. I always target the no conclusion. So friends, no conclusion 
just see we have already taught you this rules right so no conclusion basic diagram it should be true and possible diagram it should be false then only we need to say the answer is a complementary pair that is either or so friends here the conclusion number two is no pen is tree so friends according to the basic diagram there is no connection between pen and tree so according to the basic diagram the conclusion number two is true so basic diagram conclusion is true when we move on to the possible diagram they have clearly told that in the statement there should not be any connection between car and pen so we can connect pen with paper and also there is a possible of connecting pen with tree so if i connect pen with tree here then it becomes then the conclusion number two says no pen is tree but here some pen or tree is true so we can say that in a possible diagram no conclusion is false so friends basic diagram there is no connection between pen and tree so it is true but in a possible diagram there is a possible of connecting pen with tree so in a possible diagram no conclusion false listen here friends basic diagram it is true possible diagram it is false so we can directly say the answer is either or i am not at all seeing conclusion number one right my only target is no conclusion so no conclusion satisfies the rule basic diagram it is true possible diagram it is false so i can say the answer for this question either one or two follows friends got it only if it satisfies the third rule i should say the answer is either or always remember that if it is a complementary pair concentrate on no conclusion alone question number two and here the question number two conclusion is some pen or paper and no pen is a paper so friends conclusion looks like a complementary pair if it is a complementary pair our only target is the second conclusion that is no so no conclusion in a basic diagram it should be true in a possible diagram it should be false then only we need to say the answer is either or right okay so friends here they are talking about no pen is a paper so according to the basic diagram there is no connection between pen and paper so conclusion is true so no pen is paper is true right so when we move on to the possible diagram they have clearly told that there should not be any connection between pen and car but there is a possible of connecting pen with a paper right we can connect pen here if i connect pen here the conclusion says no pen is paper but in a possible diagram there is a possible of connecting pen with paper so in a possible diagram it is false so friends basic diagram true possible diagram false so according to the third rule basic diagram true possible diagram false then we can say the answer for this syllogism question is either one or two follows friends again and again saying third conclusion if it satisfies the third conclusion then you need to say it is either or if it satisfies any first two conclusion then you should not say the answer is either or right so first three question we are going to see only why it satisfies the either or and the last two question we are going to see why even though it's a complementary pair why it does not satisfy the either or so friends finally for this question the answer is either one or two follows question number three so friends the conclusion is some gliders are tree and no glider is a tree so friends similarly the conclusion looks like a complementary pair so if it is a complementary pair concentrate only on the no conclusion so here the no conclusion is no glider is tree so friends according to the basic diagram there is no connection between tree and a glider so we can say that according to the basic diagram the conclusion is true when we move on to the possible diagram we already know that in lesson number two itself i have clearly told you one thing if all the parameters are inside a single venn diagram always no conclusion is false in a possible diagram so friends according to the basic diagram there is no connection between tree and a glider which is true when we move on to the possible diagram tree paper scale rubber car and glider so all are inside a single venn diagram so according to the possible diagram no conclusion is false so friends it satisfies the rule number three basic diagram it is true possible diagram it is false so we need to say the conclusion is a complementary pair it satisfies the rule so the answer is either one or two follows first three question we have seen a complementary pair and also first three question it satisfies the rule so we go with the option either one or two follows so let me move on to the last two interesting question question number four so friends in question number four the conclusion is some pen are rubber and no pen is a rubber 
friends listen here it looks like a complementary pair right if it is a complementary pair our target to check only the no conclusion here the no conclusion is no pen is a rubber right so friends in a basic diagram according to the conclusion there is no connection between pen and rubber and similarly the conclusion says no pen is a rubber so in a basic diagram it is true and when we move on to the possible diagram in the statement they have clearly told that there is no connection between car and a pen if there is no connection between car and a pen so we can clearly say that there is no possible of connecting pen with a rubber and there is no possible of connecting pen with scale but there is a possible of connecting pen with paper pen with tree and also pen with glider but there is no possible of connecting pen with rubber and also pen with scale and also pen with car in the possible diagram also there is no possible of connecting pen with the rubber and clearly the conclusion says no pen is a rubber so in a possible diagram also the conclusion is true so friends listen here basic diagram no pen is a rubber is true in a possible diagram there is no chance of connecting pen and rubber so again in a possible diagram also it is true so friends if it is true in both the diagram no conclusion listen here only if it satisfies the rule number three we need to go for the option either one or two follow but here it does not satisfy the rule so we should not say the answer is either or in this case you need to check conclusion number one separately conclusion number two separately so friends conclusion number one some pen are rubber so some pen are rubber which is false so conclusion number one is false so conclusion number two no pen is a rubber basic diagram two, possible diagram two. so we can say that no conclusion is true so answer for this question is conclusion two alone follows friends got it so in this case conclusion two alone follows so this is the answer for this question first three question we have checked the rule and the no conclusion satisfies the third rule so we have gone for the option that is either one or two follows but in this fourth question we have targeted the no conclusion but the no conclusion does not satisfy the third rule in a basic diagram it is true in a possible diagram also it is true so we should not say the answer is either or in this case you need to concentrate on conclusion number one separately conclusion number two separately so conclusion number one some pen are rubber which is false conclusion number two no pen is rubber which is true so answer for this question is only two follows friends got it so this is the difference between a complementary pair that is first case why we gone for option either or and fourth question and fifth question why we are not saying the answer is either or so friends finally for this question the answer is only two follows question number five so here the question number five is some car or scale and no car is a scale so friends listen here the conclusion looks like a complementary pair so our target to check the no conclusion so here the conclusion says no car is a scale friends in a basic diagram itself the conclusion says no car is a scale but in the basic diagram itself there is a connection between car and scale so in a basic diagram it is false in a possible diagram definitely it is false so we can say that no conclusion is false in the basic diagram and also false in the possible diagram now it does not satisfy the rule number three if it does not satisfy the rule number three then we should not say answer is either or in this case we need to check conclusion number one separately conclusion number two separately so friends here the conclusion number one is some car or scale so some car or scale conclusion number one is true and conclusion number two no car is scale so basic diagram false possible diagram false so answer is false so final answer for this question is only one follows so finally we got an answer for this question that is only one follows so friends got the point friends so finally i hope that you have understood the concept of complementary player clearly so friends if you are a beginner so try try to practice more number of questions that is based on the complementary pair right so only if the no conclusion satisfies the third rule we need to go with an option either one or two follows or otherwise we need to check conclusion number one separately conclusion number two separately right so friends thank you so much for watching this video in lesson number seven let me move on to the second complementary pair that is some a or b and some a or not b so if you really like it share this video to your friends so that your friends can also learn this